Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new hairstyle for your CC3 avatar. First what you need to do is go and install the Vroid Studio. I already give you the download link. Please check the video description. That is the Vroid Studio download link. And the Vroid Studio is a totally free software. Go and download and install in your computer or just download the portable version. After that, click plus to add a new avatar. Now we are going to design a, a really new hairstyle for, for your CC3 avatar from the scratch. In your Vroid Studio, you click plus to select the female avatar. Because of your avatar is a female, so this time you choose a female avatar. And just wait for a while. The avatar template is loading. Next. Okay. For this avatar, because of you are you want to use the hair creator here, you click the hair editor. Then here click the add procedural group. As the first step. Now, for this group, <clears throat> first I'm going to set as the front. I right click and rename. Rename as the front. Save it. So you can see this is this is the hair back, the base hair. And for this group, this is the procedural group. Next, what you are, you are going to do is you can rotate it, the position. You can adjust the length as well. And you can adjust the interval. And how many hairs, the number of hairs you can adjust. This is very important. Another variable is the curve. For this time, because of I want to put in front, then I will choose straight, like this. Next, I will adjust the position again. This one you can adjust to here. The position should be in front. The length is up to you to adjust it. Number of hairs, like that is enough. Next, I want to create a back hair. So for this time I add another procedural group. Because of now, the selected one is the front. This is the last one. If I click add procedural group, it will duplicate. You can see now this is a duplication. Duplication of the front hair just now. Now I want to set it as a back hair. The position should be like this. The length if I pull to the 100, it will go to the maximum, but the, the maximum value, that is the guide parameter you still can adjust. See? You can adjust the maximum height, and you also can adjust the guide. If this is a long hair, it should be like this. All right. And then here, here you can see it touched the cloth already. Actually, we can make it converge. Okay, this one I rename it first. Right click and click rename. This is the back. Click save. We drag it down. Then you should be able to see a variable. That is called the, the flow convergence. You can adjust the flow convergence so that it don't touch touch the the cloth and collapse with the curve. Next, I want to create some side hair here. Of course, to create a side hair, I can click the front again. Next, click Add Procedural Group. It will create another duplication of the front hair. Then I, I adjust the position again to the side. Where is the position? Position is here. Adjust to the side. The interval, I make it decrease. 
because I, I no need to have so many. The position should just focus at somewhere here to create a side hair. Interval should be decreased somewhere here, and the length should increase something like this. So this is the side hair, and of course number of hairs just make it as, make it suitable enough. No need to be so many, and here we don't want to be a straight a straight tails. We can change from the fluffy. Okay. To the script. Maybe the script is more suitable like this. Alright, this is the side. And what is the what is the side? This side is right right hand side, so I I rename it as right hand side. So I rename right and I save this. Of course, now the selected one, the selected is right. I can adjust this. This is the guide. Okay, like this enough. Then maybe I want to adjust the front. The front, you don't cover here, so I adjust the interval. I adjust the interval to make it less and change the position to somewhere like this. So the interval should increase a little bit. Position. Alright. Now it looks better. Better like this. Next what should I do? I click the right and duplicate the right by clicking the add procedural group. Now this one should become left. I right click, rename it, rename this duplication as left, save it. Now I change the position, pull to another side to cover here. Alright, now you have both sides, left and right. You see this side just now you already changed, for this side just now you already changed the guideline. So left you also can change the guideline by just pulling it into that. You can adjust it. Alright, now both sides also have already. Now if I want to change this side, this is the left. Okay, you have a lot of variation that you can change. Alright, for this one, the left, I, can, I also can just pull it down. You can see the flow direction. the tip cleanliness and also the flow convergence you can adjust, see? flow convergence and at this time you also can make the interval be bigger and then number of hairs you increase it the position cover here so now you can see left side and the right side be different already. It's okay for you. Some of the, the variation is good. I increase the interval. Then here you can see some space here, so you, you need to increase number of hairs. So I want to make two sides different. Different is better. Now, if everything I feel okay, my purpose is to to export to CC3 to make it as a CC3 hair. So in the Vroid, you must export it out. Export from the Vroid Studio. First, what should I do? Click the exporter. Then click export. Here you can see export the hair as an OBJ. The first step one you need to do, click export hair. As OBJ. As demo, I will just export on my desktop. The OBJ is here. The hair, hair, girl 01. Now I export it as OBJ on my desktop first. Save this. Alright. Now you can see the OBJ is here. If I double click to open as a 3D viewer, this is the hair, hair mesh. 
You don't have any of the texture. The texture, you must click the hair editor again. Then click the texture. At this moment, you need to click click the default image and right click, export, export this texture and also put on my desktop. This is the layer.png, I save this. Next, see, this one is at here. This is the hair texture. How to send it to your CC3? First, you must send your CC3 avatar to iClone. Click here, send the avatar to iClone first. Then wait for a while, the CC3 is sending the avatar to the iClone. Alright, so at here, you're already in iClone 7. Next step, always remember that your, your hair mesh is as an OBZ file on your desktop just to drag into the center of the world. This is the center of the origins. Then now where is it? You, you can't see, right? It is too small already. Okay. Because of you, you cannot see. Where is it? Is that over small? Okay, then I press R to increase the size to pull, pull it. It is really small. I pull again. Now, when the size is visible, you maximize your icon and drag. Then click here, drag here down. Make the pivot at the top so that it is easier for you. Next, you adjust the location. Press R. Press R to resize it. Press W to shift the position until it fits into the, the avatar. Next, you can see this hairstyle is not that smooth. You can adjust from the side as well. It is not that smooth that you can see a lot of the edges. So what should you do? Okay. You can just first you, you replace the texture first. You replace the texture. The texture is on the desktop, drag into the base color, you replace, and the next what you, you are going to do is you drag this down, click here, drag this down to make it smooth. Smooth the mesh. Then subdivision. Now everything becomes smooth already. Next. Adjust the color of the hair. Click here. You can adjust the color. Of course, you can make any color. Any color as you like. Okay, adjust the size until until you feel comfortable with that. Once you feel okay already, you can send to your CC3. Before that, please attach this hair on the head. Click here. And click attach to. Attach to the head. Next, this is CC3, the CC base head. Now, I think I should make it bigger, like this. Ah. Next. 
select the avatar, then click Edit in Character Creator. In your Character Creator here, do you want to save? Click No, no need to save. Then replace all, click OK. It will send the whole avatar, include the hair, into the CC3. Just wait for a while. Now it's your time to make it become a hair. How to make it become a hair? It is very simple. You just need to double click and select the hair. Click the transfer skin weight. Then when this pop out, you click hair, select the hair, then click apply. And wait for a while, it will become the hair immediately. Now, it already become the hair, then close. Next, you can click here, click the hair, click the custom, and save this hair. Save as the CC hair. Now I click plus. This one already selected. The hair is already selected. I click plus. Alright, now I can delete this hair. This hair is already saved as, as a CC hair. If you want to check it, you can right click and click find file. Once you click Find File, it will pop out a folder. You should be able to see all the format as a CC hair. I right click View as the large icon. You can see this CC hair can be, can be used anytime as, as the CC hair for any of the CC avatar. Okay? You can use it anytime. So the, the Vroid hair creator is a really, really awesome hair creator where you can make a new hairstyle anytime. And you also can re-edit it at here. Remember to save this. Save as a preset. How to save as a preset? You need to click the hair editor and click design. The preset. Click export as a preset. Now, it already automatically saved as the preset 24. The previous one is 23. I click import. I can import my previous hairstyle. Then how about 22? I can import. This, these are my previous hairstyle, and today's one is 24. Can import again anytime for the further ed editing. All right. If you want to back up, you also can find find out the folder. First, you need to right click the file explorer, select file explorer, then click this PC. And go to your operating system C user and select your username. Next, click the app data and local load. Select the local load folder, enter that. After that, it's under Pix IV, the Vroid Studio. And then the hair preset is saved at here, hair preset. And just now it's the 24. So I suggest you to back up this folder. Once you install the Vroid Studio, it will automatically create this folder and, and just, just to back up every setting in your Vroid Studio somewhere here. All right, that's all, all for today about how to create a new hairstyle from scratch in Vroid Studio and send to CC3 and make it become a CC3 hairstyle. And thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial. If you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game lab developer developing, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also at the same time, turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation.